Hey everybody, I'm Alex Week Blue, and today I have some superhero cards I want to show you guys. Well, and super villains too, for that matter. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to show off this pack here and show you everything that's in it. I just already took it out of the little sleeve right here. It's $3 per pack, by the way. I got three different ones. I may show you one or three in this. I'm not sure. We'll see how long this goes and what feels right. But yeah, anyways, starting off with this immaculate looking Green Goblin card, which I absolutely love. Just look at the artwork on that. Great stuff. I really like this a lot, of course. And this is from uh, 1991. And it is a Legends, Marvel Legends card. Uh, but yeah, it also has, let me show you if I can. Like most of the other ones do in these series like this. It has the awesome like backstory and stats and all of that of uh, Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin in this particular case. But it has you know each character like that, usually. But yeah, I absolutely love this card to start with. It's one of my favorite ones from this pack, if not the very first favorite. So next up we have Dark Phoenix, which is really awesome. I didn't have the either one of those two yet, by the way. Uh, but yeah, this is really awesome. I love that red costume of hers, of course, the Dark Phoenix one. And yeah, Jean Grey is really awesome. So this is a very cool card for sure. So two awesome ones to start off with, in my opinion. Next up we have Bucky Barnes. Of course, he would later become the Winter Soldier. But as Bucky, I think he looks pretty interesting too. He's a pretty cool character. Very likable sidekick type of guy. And uh, yeah, kind of old school look to him, of course. But yeah, I think this is pretty awesome. I like the artwork on all these so far as well. And yeah, three pretty cool ones to start off with. All right, next up we have Mandarin's Rings. So this is a weapons card. But you get to see the Mandarin of two, of course, there. Yeah, just a classic Iron Man villain, of course. But it's about his weapons, especially in this one. But yeah, his rings of power are crazy, though. The ten rings. All right, let's see what this is. Okay, so next up we have a team card. I forget if there's a bunch of team ones in this one or not, but we have Excalibur, which of course is a really awesome uh, team in general. If you like the mutants a lot, I've I've not gotten into them a ton yet, but I've started to read the first one and some of the other ones lately. But I love a lot of the characters in this, anyways. Uh, so I'm very excited to check out more of them in general. So yeah, happy to get this card for sure. Okay, let's see what this is. So this one is Magneto and. Uh, Charles Xavier, Professor Xavier, and it looks sort of like a puzzle card or something. I don't know if it technically is or not, but it's a full art, I guess, card. I believe that's what you would refer to it as. Let's see what it says on the back. Homo Superiors. So it's just kind of like a story uh, card, I guess, from the comics. Like a little picture of it. That's pretty cool, though. I like it for sure. Okay, and then we've got uh, another one of those type of things, I think, with Gambit here. And uh, it looks like a robot of Jean Grey blowing up. So, I'm sure that was some sort of story beat or something that was pretty interesting too. Uh, next up, we have another Marvel card, which is Colossus here. With some character that I'm not sure who she is. Maybe somebody I know, but I'm not really familiar with this, that. Um, yeah, but really cool art on that as well. Like the other ones, of course. Alright, now we got some more team cards. We have X-Men Blue. Very... Uh, very cool lineup there, for sure. I really like that a lot. All those are among my favorite X-Men, for sure. They're all way up there. And yeah, great artwork, too. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got more team ones. I think this one may have more, too. We have Mutant Liberation Front for teams. I don't know too much about this one, but I know they come up in X-Men and stuff like that, I believe, that I've read before. But I'm not real familiar with them as a team yet. I know that's Strife in the middle of the top. But yeah, it looks really cool, though, honestly. All right, let's see here. Next up, we have... What is this? Oh, Dark Riders. So, another team that I don't know too much about yet, to be completely honest. I don't even remember... I think I've heard of them and stuff, but I'm not really familiar with them at all yet, I don't believe. Beyond just, like, you know, hearing about them or maybe seeing them on the cover or something. All right. Now, we get into, I guess, mostly the Unity cards now, maybe. So, from Valiant Comics, we have some Unity cards. We have... uh. All, pretty much all of their main characters here on this one, which is really awesome. We have Solar, Exo Man of War, Magnus Robot Fighter, and a bunch of the other ones too, of course. But yeah, very cool art on this one. And what's this? Next up we have like a, like some sort of rainbow tower, it looks like. Very interesting art on that. It looks like a probably a panel from a comic, I've had to guess. Uh, on this one, we have somebody getting shot. I think that's either Archer or Armstrong, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Armstrong takes a hit. I thought so. For Archer and Armstrong, that's what that series is from. 
right here we have a really cool one with a dinosaur and solar and somebody else like looking at it so it's really interesting it's kind of i like the art on these too by the way they're really cool got a face up of this character with a bunch of dinosaurs flying behind her we have uh archer and, Arms <laughs> archer and armstrong number one from their cover with their first one of course very cool i like that I might, I don't know if I have, I don't think I have their number one. I don't remember, I have some of the random issues before that I got in grab bags and stuff. It seems decent enough for what I've saw, but I haven't read too much, or too much of it yet. Next up, we have a very close-up of Solar, which I love this card. I like the art a lot on this one, honestly. It's really cool. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? We also have, I believe that's uh, Armstrong again there. It looks like a panel probably from one of their books. Pretty cool nighttime artwork there. Uh, next up, we have Eternal Warrior, number one. So, for the first issue of Eternal Warrior. These cards are really cool. I like them a lot. Because I do actually like Valiant. There's some of the titles I've read a little bit here and there. I believe Mirage is from Valiant, if I'm not mistaken. I've read some of his stuff for, for example. Uh, but yeah, that's another really cool looking one on this one. Kind of looks like a Stormtrooper right there. <laughs> but yeah, really cool. See what else we got. There's a couple more here. So we have this one. Uh, this, I think that's Eternal Hero or Eternal Warrior or whatever it was I said a minute ago. Eternal Warrior, right? Let's see. I think it's it says Gil, Gilad enters the battle. Okay. So he, apparently he's a partner of Archer and Armstrong, what it says. Uh, next up we have, I believe it's Archer and Armstrong, and then I'm not sure who the other guy is. Really cool green background on this one. And uh, on this one, we have Solar and a bunch of dinosaurs and robots coming out. Magnus Robot Fighter there as well. This is a really cool artwork one on this. Okay, and then we have Magnus versus Robot Fighter. And it's number 15 of the, of the book, so that's what this artwork is from. Two, I don't know who the other character is, but she looks pretty cool. And then, let's see, there's only three more, I think. Solar again there. Looks like somebody got killed or <laughs> fainted or something. The guy who's getting ready to listen to some records or something. <laughs> All right, let's see. A couple more. Then we have some laser dinosaurs and robots shooting at Exo Manowar. Exo Manowar is cool too, by the way. I've always liked him. I haven't read much of him yet, but I think I have some of his issues. And I want to get that first issue of his, but I can never find it, by the way. Um, next up, we have another really cool artwork one on this. Looks kind of like a puzzle, like I said. Again, I don't know if they're supposed to be or not, or they just look like that art style, uh, you know, in general. But very cool on that one. And last but not least in this pack, I'll probably do the other ones in a different video, so it's, it's not super long, but we have Exo Man Award number seven. Yeah, that's really cool. I really like these a lot. Of course, I really, uh, really super mega dig some of those Marvel ones to the front with Bucky, of course, Dark Phoenix, and, uh, Oh, yeah, the team ones is really cool. I like the Valiant ones, too, though. And also, especially the Screen Goblin one. It's just awesome artwork. And yeah, really cool in general. I'll show you guys the other two packs soon. They are quite a bit different, I believe. I think each one was pretty unique, so it should be make for a good video as well. Batteries not included. Results may vary. Limited time only. Autobots roll out. I have the power. I have the tiger. Welcome to the Black Parade. Side effects may include buying too many Archie comics.